Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can quickly add a list, a typed list, into a organizational chart and then navigate through the chart structure using your tab key. So normally when you create an organizational chart in Word or Excel or PowerPoint, you're using the insert tab and this feature smart art. If I click on that, this will bring that down the, um, the tools. The one I want to show you is this one, the hierarchy option. Click OK to that and it will drop the hierarchy on. Now normally you just start typing away. So Steve and then I don't want that one there. So also I'll just delete that one off. So then you're typing in there, Paul. Now you can't tab when you, from these boxes, but what you can do, if I just undo that tab, if you press escape and then you can tab, then Dave, so escape and tab, and then Paul again. So that's what you'd normally do. And then if you want to add an extra section, you'd go up there, add shape, add shape. And then you might go back onto the management level and do layout standard. So this is a normal way that you would create that. But what I want to do is I want to just delete this for a second and do it a different way. And I want to just basically copy and paste this list in to that diagram area and then navigate the people down the trees that they should be in. So still going to go get the smart art hierarchy shape, that one. Clicking OK to that. So it drops in, but this time I'm going to delete all of this stuff in here. So I'm just left with one big box. What I'm then going to do is highlight this list of people outside of that. So copy that, copy, click back onto the shape, and then paste it like that, which will give me one big long line of people. Now to create the structure, basically, whoever's in charge, so say Bob is in charge of Carol, if I click next to Carol, press my tab key, you can see how that goes like that. He becomes part of her manager, if you like. So if I then say um, Ben and Bob are part of Bill, Carol has gone into that as well, but if I tab it again, Carol still is part of Bob. And then if I go Dave and Anne, are under John, you can have your structure like that. Now if I highlight them all, press tab, John becomes the top level, Carol's still the bottom level under Bob, and you can see how that works there. And if I want to move them out, so Carol's now moved underneath Bill, I did shift, tab, and that moved them out. So if I click on Ben, Bob, and Carol, and do shift tab that moves everybody back to one line everybody's under John so basically if you tab down the person becomes subservient if you like or subordinate not subservient subordinate to the manager above or the line above tab down for Carol she becomes part of that so it's quite a simple process to do. It stops you having to type out a big list. If you've already got this information typed out in any uh, Microsoft program, you just copy and paste it in, and it's a good start point. And then just shift and tab, or, or tab just to tab down, and gives you the structure. Sometimes you have to play around with this a little bit, but how cool is that? But that's all I want to show you in this little video, how to create an, uh, an organizational chart very quickly, just by copy and paste and tab. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.